Oh, hello. Welcome to my world. Welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this yummy delicious kuno with only three ingredients you don't need to break the bank y'all so we're only going to be using this and trust me you can have this as breakfast lunch dinner even as a midnight something nobody is going to kill you so the first ingredient we're going to be using is ground up paste and I've had this in my fridge for the longest time y'all It can stay for up to a year like without anything happening to it like I'm not exaggerating We're also going to be using this rice We've used this rice in our masa recipe if you've not seen that I'll put a link in the description box and you can also check it out on my channel And you can use your normal rice if you don't have this type of rice we're also going to be using some lemon if you don't have lemon you can use lime or tamarind which is called samya in house and because I don't have that I'm using lemon so that's all we're going to be using today so the first thing I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be washing my rice to make sure that it's clean I wash it for about three to four times maybe five depending on how clean it turns out to be you know just the water for the water to be cleaner just the way you would normally wash your rice or rinse your rice when you want to cook it and like I said if you don't have this type of rice you can use your normal rice trust me because rice is rice <laughs> but it just feels different this is just the house that way okay to use this type of rice and I'm just going to be cooking it on a medium heat I'm not going to be adding salt or anything by the way I'm just going to be cooking it like that literally boiling and that's it and I'm just going to let it cook for about let's say 12 to 15 minutes on a medium heat because I feel like this type of rice is harder than the normal rice and I'm just going to be using half a glass because just in case we need more water so now I'm just going to be adding in some water into my paste you know to give me a good liquid consistency you guys this small granite paste can serve up to five to seven people like I am not exaggerating I just did make mine so watery because ugh, I don't really have a big pot so I did what could fit into my pot and you also need a separate bowl and a sieve if you have a really thin sieve something that no particle can pass through then that's good but I didn't really have that so I had to use a bigger sieve and then a smaller sieve to do it to make sure that I had a particle free brown out so what I'm doing now is giving it a good mix it's just like more like massaging the paste into the water you know just so it becomes liquid and if you don't have um, a granite paste already you can use some fresh groundnuts all you just have to do is blend it and trust me and sieve and that's just basically it it's as simple as that and this can get really really handy and nasty if you don't want it on your hand because it's really sticky so you can use a glove or a spoon if that works for you but ha, this is how I know how to do it <laughs> so that's what we're just going to keep doing and as you guys can see the water has already begun to change color and this is what it looks like so I'm going to sieve it into the bowl with the first sieve and then sieve it again with a smaller sieve I'm adding more water because I think it was too thick and trust me you can add a lot of water depending on your paste but like I said this can serve up to five or six people seven people in fact depending on how much water you add to it but I think the thicker the better <laughs> 
so that's just all I'm going to be doing now sieve it and then you guys saw that in the first sieve there was there were particles inside the bowl still so now I'm going to use a smaller sieve because this is the only one that I have and you guys can see there are still particles but it won't pass through this other sieve so the next thing I'm going to be doing when, my, when I'm sure my rice is cooked you're going to cook your rice until it is soft so then I'm going to be adding in the groundnut into my rice and then I'm going to let it cook and you guys always make sure that you watch your groundnut because when it starts cooking it can get all for me and it will definitely pour I'll show you guys how you can control it when it gets all for me so while I'm letting my groundnut cook on a medium heat I'm going to prep my lemon I'm just going to get the lemon juice out of it you guys can see the rice from inside it's also going to make the rice really soft because it is obviously cooking it still so I'm just going to get as much lemon juice as I can and like I said you can use lime you can use lemon you can use tamarind you can use Samia because that's what it's called in house and because I don't have that that's why I'm using lemon it's just like using corn flour in your sauce to make it thick so that's what it actually does to this so now as you guys can see it is getting for me so at this point you should really be careful like don't remove your eyes because the next thing you see is your stove oh uh, just it will be a disaster so this is what you do when it gets off from you can just put your spoon and keep doing this or you can add some water if it really gets out of hand like what I just did now as you guys can see it just really stopped it and you guys are just we're just going to allow it cook for about five to seven minutes more but we're going to be really careful and watch we're going to keep watching it so it doesn't get out of hand and that's just basically it you guys then I'm going to be adding in my lemon juice the one that I extracted from my lemon and it will become thick like immediately it will become thick so what when you're doing that you make sure that you give it a good stir and that's just basically it that is just how to make your kunun it gives a good 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 consistency you can add so much lemon juice if you want to be honest it depends on how thick you want it to be but this is just how I love it just perfect and if you let it be on the stove for a longer time maybe like like I said when you're cooking for an extra three to five minutes it will become more thick and that's it you guys that is just all you need to make your kunu I hope you guys really like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe put on your notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video as you guys can see it looks really really yummy Bye guys!